Hi, I want to show you how to do regression analysis in Stata and how to choose the, the control variables in your model. So let's first assume that we want to estimate the effect of institutional quality on, on the GDP per capita. So I've uh, chosen an extract of, of some variables in the quality of governance data set that you can download on the internet. So let's regress uh, GDP per capita and property rights institutions. So this shows the very simple correlation between the two, and we see that uh, property rights institutions are, are, are increased um, countries' level of development. Now, to choose the, the variables that we um, include as control variables, we need to think which factors could um, correlate with uh, property rights institutions and at the same time also with GDP per capita. So, so we are worried that some of this effect of institutions on GDP actually is due to other factors. To choose these, we go back to our model of GDP per capita. Oh, sorry, we go back to our, the, our model of, of uh, the deep determinants where our question is, why are some countries richer than others? What we've been exploring in this course is all these deep determinants, um, institutions, culture, and geography. So what we want to do is that we to control for 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 cult, so important cultural aspect and important geographic and climatic aspects that might be correlated with institutions. So let's do that. One catch-all variable that um, for geography could be absolute latitude. We throw that in there and see that our estimate of interest on institutions, it drops a little bit, but, but not significantly. Another geographic variable, um, important geographic variable is, is continent dummies, which you could also include there. You could include temperature, precipitation, and so on, other variables that we've been working with. Another variable of interest could be um, how many domesticable animals in the country, when, uh, which we know should be important after eating Jared diamonds, guns, germs, and steel. We throw that in there, and we see that it's actually not significant, but it has the right sign, um, a positive effect. So that's the geographic, some, some geographic control variables, some culture control variables could be the share of the population that are Protestants. Let's see what happens when we throw that in there. This variable is, is insignificant in, in this model. So it seems that, that um, this year of Protestants don't matter much for, for GDP per capita. And, and more importantly, the, our estimate of interest here in institutions is unchanged. Other cultural variables that we could throw in there could be um, religious fractionalization, ethnic fractionalization, um, share of Muslims, and so on. Okay, other control variables. One might think when, when we are knowing our solar model that we should put, for example, uh, human capital and physical capital into this model as control variables. We have our human capital as a variable in the quality of governance data set, so we could throw it in there. But um, let's go back to our deep determinant model. What this model says is that our deep determinants, institutions, for instance, influence a GDP per capita through these, these um, proximate channels here. The uh, variables that we know from our solar model, technological progress, human capital, and physical capital. So if we include human capital as a control variable here, we are actually controlling for one of the channels through which institutions influence GDP per capita. So to estimate the effect of institutions on GDP per capita, this is not so good to include human capital. But if we wanted to investigate which channel institutions influence GDP per capita, we could in include human capital and see whether our estimate on institutions drops a lot. Let's try that.
and what this shows is that the estimate of institutions does not drop much when we include human capital. So perhaps human capital accumulation is not the channel through which these institutions influence growth. But let me stress that human capital here is, is endogenous, so our estimates might now be biased after including this variable here. So just have that in mind.